This is a video showing anatomy of skeleton of the right foot. The bones names have been given in orange and their respective parts in blue. To start with, there are total 28 bones in foot which are broadly classified proximally to distally into tarsals, metatarsal and phalanges. Discussing the distal bones, here you are seeing the first five distal phalanx followed by the five proximal phalanx. Now you see the four middle phalanx present in all the phalanges except the great toe. The five metatarsals are now seen as small long bones joining the phalanges with the tarsal bones. Coming to the tarsal bones that are seven in number, first you see the three cuneiform bones that is medial, medial cuneiform, intermediate cuneiform and lateral cuneiform. Posterior to the cuneiforms is the navicular and talus. The talus bones connect the right foot to leg bones, tibia and fibula. The parts of talus visible now are the trochlea, the neck and the head. Moving inferomedially, you see the medial and dorsum of tarsal bones. The tuberosity of the navicular is seen. So is the calcaneum bone with its substantular tally. Now you see the two sesamoid small bones below the first metatarsal bone of the foot. In this view, you see the substantular tally with flexor hallucis longus tendon and medial process of tuberosity of calcaneum. This flexor hallucis longus tendon helps you flex your big toe and stand on the tips of your toes. Overuse of this tendon can cause inflammation called tendonitis. Moving laterally, you can see the lateral surfaces of the calcaneum posteriorly and cuboid bone anteriorly. The per peroneus longus tendon groove is more clearly seen. The lateral process of tuberosity of calcaneum is seen along with its body and lateral or fibular trochlea. The calcaneum is the largest bone of the foot and provides the foundation for all of the other tarsals and metatarsals. The calcaneus strikes the ground with every footfall when running or walking.